As a real estate broker, I get asked almost daily for suggestions on things to do with kids in our area. So I decided to get our production team together to follow me around on all our family's adventures and showcase all the great things to do right in our backyard. And after the very first episode, it became very clear that we had an amazing host right in house. This is Ellis Presents. Ellis Presents the show hey guys, time. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ellis Presents. Come join my friends, family and I for an awesome adventure at Cirque de la Montagne. <laughs> Look, there are some pretty flowers here and all sorts of fun stuff. Look, they have these little prick things on it. So make sure not to touch them without gloves. But if you're a professional in magic, then touch them without gloves. So Cirque de la Montagne is located about 15 to 20 minutes away from the Hudson St. Lazar area, right on Rigo Mountain. So for kids, it's $20 to $25 per person, and for adults, it's about $44 each. The place is open year-round with all kinds of different things to do, but if you want to come for the traditional Cabana Souk experience, you got to come in February and the beginning of May. And just a little tip, you want to book a couple weeks in advance because it really fills up fast. Even though they can seat 400 people, seats are gone quick. I grew up in the west end of Montreal in a modern lifestyle and I wanted to live like a hundred years ago. So I didn't know how I could do that, but with, with, with time I found a, maple, a beautiful maple stand. I found a, oh, 10 old barns that I took apart and rebuilt to make the dining room. Oh, wow. I found old houses that I numbered the logs and rebuilt. I, I built a, a bakery, a sugar shack, out of logs and rock, stone. So I've been here for 46 years. Uh, oh, wow. That's why I look like that. <laughs> so when someone comes here, let's say, outside of uh, sugaring, sugaring off season, what else is there to do? Like, I know I see a couple of buildings like... Tourism come, tourist people come. They come in and visit the sugar shack. Okay. They get a tour of how we make the maple syrup in springtime. Okay. Uh, they get a tour where we make the bread on with fire. You make bread tour. here, on site? Yeah, right inside there. Okay, wow. And tour groups come through here. We have, a, we have cabins for rent. Oh yeah? We have, we have a, Jeez. the old fashioned way. Yeah. Uh, there's no Wi-Fi in the cabin. That's good. No Wi-Fi. That's good. <laughs> uh, you disconnect sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And then there's a beautiful uh, old fashioned uh, general store. Okay. Uh, That's like, uh, what, what does the general store have? Well, we have uh, like, uh, and artifacts. Okay. And of course, maple syrup, maple right. butter, maple sugar. Yeah, all that stuff related, related, related to maple products. Yeah. This is a Canadian signature experience. Yeah. This is where you, this is where you come and live, uh, the yester years of our country. That's amazing. Yes. yes. That's uh, we really appreciate you giving that time. It's really nice. Of you. Thank you for the interview. Whenever I see the entire world can see. Oh yeah. Okay, Simon, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, if I understand correctly, this is where the magic happens. Yeah. This is where you make the syrup. This is where we do it. All right, so can you tell me a little bit about how it all works? Sure. Kids will be very We happy. kept here the old tradition of making the maple syrup. Okay. It's all uh, taps on the trees. There's no pipeline or nothing. It's all hand bombed. Okay. So every spring we go in the bush, we tap the trees with a little spigot and a pot, and we hope for a freezing night, warm days, okay. the sap's going to run. So There's about 2,000 taps. Oh, wow. So that's 2,000 buckets. Okay. So whenever it freezes at night and it's warm during the day, the sap's going to run. Okay. Every day we got to go in the bush. Four guys, we go in the bush, pick up the sap. Outside in the back, I got four big containers. We dump the sap in there. Okay. Comes in my evaporator, and with a wood fire, I boil it. Okay. It takes 40 liters of sap to make one liter of maple syrup. Oh. So uh, the, the, the room here works. fills up with uh, steam, yeah. the non-sweet water that evaporates. Yeah. The sweet water stays in the evaporator. And I gotta make a fire, I boil about four cords of wood in 10 hours. Okay. Every five wow. minutes I put wood in, the, in there. We put wood at this end here to boil it. 40 to one, there's a lot of boiling. 
that gives new meaning to full-time job. Full-time job, 10, 12 hours, no stop. We make about uh, 200 liters, four, wow. 50 gallons of maple syrup. That's incredible. So once it's boiling, it gets to the right, <coughs> right degree. I check it with the dipper. And by seeing the drop, when it drops, I can see if it's ready to open the valve or leave it closed. Okay. So if it's okay at 219 Fahrenheit or 104 Celsius, I open the tap, maple syrup will run through the filters, cell and uh, fiber, and it's ready to eat. That's amazing. All and of this, what I told you in five minutes, takes 10, 12 hours. Yeah, and you've been here for a long time, I understand. Over 30 some years. Wow. I don't count them anymore. <laughs> but my family has been in that for five generations. Wow. Yeah, there's no need to count when you're having fun, right? I love it. I come here because I love it. I'm retired and uh, I can't wait to get till next spring. That's it's so fun. Cool. Well, thank you again for your time. Thank you very much. It was nice good. talking to you. Talking to you as well. So when you first arrive, it's super cool. The experience starts with a horse and buggy ride, which brings you all the way up to where the restaurant and all the shops are. So I can turn it like that, and then I can film myself. And film, and I can lift it up to see stuff high, and like, like That's that. So cool. So once the kids have had a chance to play and burn some energy, then you make your way inside. It's a huge dining area with these long tables, there's live music, and it's just a blast. And then when the food starts, it doesn't stop coming. The meat pie is amazing, and if you're vegetarian, don't worry, they have an option for you as well. And then, you know, there's ham and sausage and all kinds and maple syrup, you know, over everything. And the best, the pancakes. Apparently, the recipe is only, only known by one person and he makes every single pancake. You've got to try them. Is it yummy? What do you rate yeah, the pancake? Another hundred. So thanks again for joining us today. I had a great time. I learned way more about this place than I ever thought existed. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you here next time. <laughs> Merci. Thanks for having us.